Welcome back to Great American Ballpark on tonight's Reds Community Fun Night. You look at our phone banks, and by the way, now 163 packages sold. Our number, $23,905. We're off to a great start on this. After four great years of community fund activity, this stands to be one of the best. And we're here with Red CEO Bob Castellini. Bob, uh, uh, it's amazing when you look around this room, see all the volunteers behind us and what this community fund has meant to you and the Reds. It's just over the top. What, uh, what, what Fox has done and the Reds organization and the Reds community fund have done collectively is, is just amazing. Before we talk about tonight, let's reflect a little bit. Uh, the smile on your face, I think, tells the story of what you felt about and what Reds fans felt about this weekend. What a spectacular weekend. Yes, it truly was. We, we got to honor one of our own, and it was a very, very special uh, three days. It was, it was over the top as well. It was maybe one of the finest uh, celebrations we've ever had as a franchise when we uh, inducted Pete into the Hall of Fame on the field, uh, I think it was on Saturday. It was great. You, of course, had a chance to talk to the Hall of Fame members, to the returning 76 team, but you also talked to the fans. What impressed you most about what fans had to say to you this weekend? Well, they were all uh, extremely uh, uh, thankful that, that Pete got into the hall, our hall. And, uh, I mean, these people all supported everything that we did, and they were thanking us. And, gosh, we were thanking them. For, <laughs> but Pete is such a draw, and he's, he's, uh, he's our hometown hero. And uh, you know what anybody says about you when I played with that guy he made me a better player that uh, that's testimony to somebody who is really really good at what they do and Pete said it as well a number of times over the weekend how much it meant to him in terms of where we were heading and as you look at what's going on a home run for the Cubs. Chris Bryant the home run gives the Cubs a 3 2 lead here in the top of the third inning but Pete said it you know. We look around this room and saw all these Hall of Famers and saw all these people that were part of 76. We feel that we had something special here that nobody else has because of Cincinnati. That's very, very true. You know, baseball is extremely uh, an integral part of our city. And uh, the oldest baseball team in, 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 in the sport, 1869, we take a lot of pride in that. So we're talking about seven, eight, nine generations of baseball fans. That's a lot. And each of those guys over the weekend said the same thing. You made it comfortable for them to come back here. I know that's been one of the linchpins of your organization. Well, it's nice of you to say, George, but, you know, all of us in the Reds organization wanted them all to come back, and, and uh, they make it special. They, they let everybody know that, that they still are with us. And, uh, you know, it's like, like 25 fellas coming back and they're all BMOCs big men on campus you know it's it's a it's a great uh, get together you know we look at the future of the Reds on the field too and I know you're optimistic of some of the young players that are up now and coming up later this year yeah well that's that's what we have to we had to concentrate on and and we're in the process and we're happy with the progress and and we'll be fine we'll be fine and I, I really appreciate the, the way that fans are standing behind us how about this community fund you know uh, there are different organizations that have community fund organizations but none of them put back all of this money into baseball into their local community into what you do let me have Charlie Frank all right Charlie Frank is all world and uh, the fact that that we just support baseball and baseball youth is is uh, very meaningful to us because first of all if we can get 15 20 30 percent of our kids just to get a little strain of confidence uh, by doing what they're doing with us uh, we will have succeeded in really helping them along along through life but on top of that we're, we're creating great baseball fans and uh, we would hope that maybe we're going to find a few good players and we have already we've got one or two fellows that are that are pretty doggone good and I hear we have a real good softball player too. I know that uh, Daryl Miller from Compton California with RBI said he was so impressed with what we did with our RBI program here yeah. and what Charlie has put together here. Yeah. And uh, you know George I can't uh, sign off without thanking uh, Fox enough. Fox has done a great job to help us uh, uh, raise the money that we're raising and, and, and for instance what you're doing here tonight is is terrific and all the support that we have I can't thank all, all of our fans and, and and people that believe in what we're doing. Hundred and fifty thousand dollars raised last year already. We're at twenty three thousand. I know that uh, your hopeful fans will chip in again tonight. Twenty nine thousand. You're at twenty nine thousand. I think. 
Sounds good. Keep it going. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very, very much for everything you do. Thank you for everything you do for the community, Bob. Back at you. Let's go back to the booth. Top of the third. Reds and Cubs.